And hello again, Dr. R. Duke Majin with Prime Coral. This time we have a philaster culture that is being exposed to 500 milligrams of ampicillin antibiotic. That's 500 milligrams of ampicillin. You can see the Petri dish with the culture of philaster where I added about 15 milliliters of 500 milligram per liter of ampicillin tank water and the philasters frankly don't even don't even care again antibiotics such as metronidazole paramomycin ampicillin they have no effect on these parasites I also tried praziquanil which is another anti-parasitic antibiotic but again no effect these are single cell organisms. They are about 150 microns long and about 40 microns wide. They're absolutely chock full of coral tissue and zooxanthella because that's all they eat. They're obligate aerobic uh, single cell organisms, meaning they have to have oxygen. And uh, you can see that the ampicillin has absolutely no effect on these single cell protozoan coral parasites that cause RTN. Absolutely no effect. They're just swimming freely in the water column and it's this free swimming form of the parasite that allows it to inf infect additional corals in your system. They actually have to swim into the coral polyp. So the chance of doing that is pretty low, as you can see. Uh, coral polyp openings are pretty small and I believe the corals can actually feel them hitting the coral tissue around the polyp, which causes corals to contract to try to avoid getting infected. Corals are pretty smart. They also produce mucus, which probably also reduces the likelihood of an infection with the philasters. But these are philaster lucinda and philaster guamens, the two philaster species that infect coral and cause all of the reefs around the world to die. These are the cause right here. It's not global warming. It's not pesticides. It's these parasites. I found them in over 600 RTN in corals from LPS to SPS to softies. It doesn't matter. They'll infect any coral, even anemones, and apparently they even affect clams. And they're causing any organism that houses zooxanthella, they'll go after and eat. And they're causing widespread coral death in the hobby as well.